Hey everybody, Dave here. I have another Stock Tip Tuesday for you. This is episode seven in the series, okay? And if you haven't seen the other series, I have a playlist out there called Stock Tip Tuesday if you want to take a look at those. Um, this series, really, I just try to get these stock tips out as quick as I can within three minutes or less, and sometimes I go over, but let's go ahead and get started so we don't run into too much of the time here. So today's Stock Tip Tuesday is on margin, okay? So I'm logged into my IB account here, and you can see I have $100,000 in this account that's sitting in cash right now, okay? Now, if you look at my account here in IB, my buy-in power is $383,000, okay? So IB is very generous on the amount of margin that they give you, okay? So, um, basically that means I can invest in stocks more than $100,000, okay? I can go up to $383,000, okay? And what does that mean, really? It means, th think of it this way, is you're taking a cash advance out on your credit card, and then you're using that money to invest in stocks or, you know, go and gambling or something like that. I wouldn't say stocks are necessarily gambling. They can be if you're in some stuff that's, you know, kind of risky, but... Um, just think of it, you're taking your credit card and you're taking a cash advance out on it and they're going to charge you interest on it, okay? Every broker is going to charge you interest on it. Now, IB is pretty low on interest, but still, um, I don't recommend anybody in 2019 use margin at all, okay? Um, it's just too risky at this late stage in the cycle and you're risking, you know, having a margin call if the stocks go down and, and the broker sending you a margin call, which basically means you need to deposit money into your account. Otherwise, they're going to go ahead and just liquidate your stocks without you even having any say in the matter. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why it's risky. Um, now, most people with a margin account probably have some experience with trading. You know, I don't know if they use margin at all. I've only used margin a couple of times in my life. Okay, and I did have one margin call. Um, I had a letter and everything sent to my house, okay, email, the whole nine yards, all right? I think I was using $24,000 in margin at the time, and I got lucky enough that the stock went up the next day and never returned back to its lows, and, and the you know, margin call was wiped out. Now, I did not have the money in any other account to really back that up, okay? So that was a lesson learned, all right? So the only time I would say anybody should use margin is if you actually have money in another account to back it up, whatever you're using, okay? So if I wanted to use $300,000 um, in this account, which means it would be $200,000 of margin, then I want to have $200,000 in another account, okay? And if the stocks went down that day for whatever, 10 or 15%, I just want to, and I want to invest that $300,000 in the, in the stocks because I'm taking advantage of that dip, I have the money in another account to back it up. I can transfer it within a couple of days and get it in the account. That's the only time I would recommend somebody using margin, um, at least this late you know, stage in the cycle. Okay, now if you don't have a margin account, you don't have to worry about this. If you're working your way up to a margin account, just be aware of these uh, things I'm talking about right now because it can be risky. So um, there is two basically movies you can kind of watch. Um, in 2008, the financial collapse was exacerbated by margin calls, okay? So recession doesn't always mean a financial uh, dis you know, disaster, financial crisis, okay? 2008 was a crisis for sure. That I wouldn't say it's necessarily a once in a lifetime, but it's not gonna happen every time a recession happens, all right? So just be aware of that. Another movie you could watch here is Margin Call, okay? And this one here is actually pretty good. It's a little bit of high level. It doesn't go into very detail of exactly what's going on, but essentially it's the same thing, talking about you know fear and greed and all that and trying to get out and save their butt. Um, not caring about anybody else, right? So go ahead and take a look at those two movies, Inside Job and Margin Call, and uh, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I do appreciate you tuning in and watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.